in ms excel top level object is application object so while doing excel vba programming we can use lot of excel options with application object so let's see some examples of using application object while writing vba code for excel in my first example i am going to share how we can use worksheet function with application object here on this sheet i have five cells these five cells have a number 25 we can write any number so i want to sum these five numbers by using worksheet function and using application object so let me go to developer tab i will click on insert option from active x control i will select command button and i will drag a small command button here now double click on this command button here let me write my total this is a variable my total equal to application once i put dot we see lot many options where i will type worksheet function or just type work and select worksheet function and dot once i hit dot i can see lot of functions that are there so we can select any function now i need just function named sum then i'll start bracket and data those five numbers are from cell a1 to a5 so here within brackets i can write range then a1 to a5 so this is how we need to write range within brackets of sum instead of sum we have lot many other functions that we can make use of once i hit enter formatting is done automatically now let's see what is the result so let me store that result or let me write msg box and directly showing my total that is already storing sum of five cells so let me minimize this vba editor window click on this design mode now once i press this command button we can see that total is coming as 135 so this code is working and we have used application object for using any of the worksheet function here we have taken example for sum let's see one more example of application object while working on vba programming sometimes we notice that speed of code processing is very slow and one of the factor for this is the screen updating feature so let me show this with one example here so let me delete these two lines and let's understand second example so let me write dim a as integer and then one for loop for a equal to 1 to 20000 and then next a that is the closing statement for for loop now what i want i want numbers from 1 to 20000 printed 
in only cell A1. So let me delete all existing values. print the numbers range a1 dot value equal to a so what will happen loop will print numbers from 1 to 20000 1 by 1 in cell a1 so let's check this let me minimize this vb editor window let me click on this command button. We can see that numbers are printing. And it is taking some time to print all these numbers. Same happens when we have very lengthy code or lot of data processing. So it takes lot of time. Why? Because each number is taking little bit of time and that is the factor that we can consider while VBA code writing by using the functionality screen updating. So let these numbers be printed. What next we can do is we will print only result or the final value which is 20,000 and we will use two lines of code first line will say application dot screen updating equal to false and once all other VBA code is finished in the end one more line for a screen updating equal to true so the task is done and it has taken a lot of time now let me go to VBA editor window so before for loop I will add line again for application dot screen updating equal to false and once task is done after that we can write line as application dot screen updating equal to true it will not completely remove the timing but significantly reduce the processing time of VB code or code execution. So let's check this again. This time only final number that is 20,000 will be printed. So let me delete this existing 20,000. I will click on this command button. And we can see that within one or two seconds final result is printed so this screen updating feature or by using the application object before writing lengthy code we can say that application dot screen updating equal to false and once code is finished last line we can write as application dot screen updating equal to true so this will significantly improve the processing of vb code and saving lot of processing time so there are lot many good features that we can use by using application object in excel vba programming i hope this tutorial is helpful for you if you like it subscribe to my channel thanks for watching